Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to a great matchup today between the Bulls and the Pirates of FR6. Getting into our maps that we have picked for today, the first map going to be Cafe, followed by Clubhouse, and then Map 3 as well. Though the first uh, defense is going to be the the first defense is going to be the Bulls, followed by the Pirates on a te uh, on defense on. Uh, clubhouse and then on Oregon it will back to the Bulls if it is necessary getting into the Bulls lineup for today uh, we are going to be having Kaidal versus men soapy vision Driz, and DBK and then the Pirates lineup today going to be Fenix 37 and Sam Joko two new signings today Klex Manimal and Van FL will be the other ones for their team so uh, after we get everyone into the lobby we will get this game underway and we will see you then
All right, and getting into map number one, we're going to be starting off on Cafe Dostoevsky. The Bulls and Pirates ready to get underway. The first attacking band coming out for the Bulls. The Bulls undefeated to this point in the season. The Pirates going to see if they can get the first win over the Bulls. The Bulls haven't just won their games via forfeit. They have actually played the majority of their games and won every single one of them. And there's there's really not been many teams that have made it very close. So this is going to need to be a very good performance from the Pirates here today if we do want to see them beat the Bulls. Osa and Jackal, the two attacking bands, as we get into the defensive bands. So yeah, a couple newcomers to the Pirates. Uh, going to be SSAM Joko and then, is, of course, uh, Fenix as well. Both of those guys were signed today, actually, in very recent roster moves, which now allow for a full team for the Pirates. Kaid going to be the ban for their first defensive ban of the Pirates. Solus going to be the final ban. And here we go, getting into the game. Starting off on Bar and Cocktail Lounge are going to be the Bulls on defense. Warden, Wamai, and Thorn. Along with a Mozzie and Goyo. Going to be the defensive picks for the Bulls. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by Potentially attack. two games on our schedule today. Do have the Tigers in charge scheduled for later. The charge have recently gotten themselves a new captain. So that is going to be, uh, they're kind of restructuring their team at the moment, so not 100% sure if that game is going to be good to go for today. But that is our other game. It's going to be at, I believe, 8 p.m. Eastern. Yeah, 8 p.m. Eastern time today. So if anyone is wanting to watch that, that is when that will be going down. So going to be an ace, a zero, a Dokubi, a Thatcher, and an IQ as the picks on attack for the Pirates. As we see a park push here, they get the camp shot out already. Going to be rappelling up the side wall and then trying to maybe make their way onto the rooftop. It does look like uh, potentially going. It does look like we have someone holding. The window is going to be CRA uh, holding these windows along Cocktail Lounge. And of course, the drone onto the run out. Shots going out, and Autobot gets the kill onto Van FL. Some more shots going out, but he gets killed by Klex. So, evening out to a 4v4, the diffuser picked up. However, losing that Thatcher, so. Losing the ability to take down the electronics as easily as they may have liked to. So the cams hacked early on. The runout gives easy access to the cams for Dokubi. So now a ton of intel. And a shot goes on to Phoenix, or goes on to Drizzleton from Phoenix. What a shot that was. So now going to be a 4v3 man advantage for the Pirates. Let's 
Sam Joko getting an idea of where the electronics are upstairs as Manimal pushes up the stairs. A few shots go in on the Fancy Clown. No kill yet, though. Some more pre-fires going in through the wall. Attackers Nothing going to connect. Fenix drops on to Cigar Balcony with Sam Joko, and now... Clex with the diffuser, looking onto the skylight, waiting for them to clear that upstairs site before pushing in. Claymore mine going out. Drone gets taken down after being hacked by the Mozzie. Reloading. CRA with the kill on the Sam Joko now. Some more shots go in from uh, Drip Andromeda, and he takes out Manimal. And CRA from across the map takes out Klex after the kill on the Fenix by Drip Andromeda and the Bulls with a very quick defensive round there. Able to collapse onto Cigar Balcony perfectly and get the early kills. So now the Bulls up one round to zero. Going into round two on Cafe. Kitchen service and cooking going to be the selection First sight for the Bulls, Warden, Wamai, Jaeger, and Thorn. The defense pick so far, and now Mozzie coming out as well. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Located by attackers. So the Pirates hoping to keep the Thatcher alive a little bit longer this game. Are going to need him to be able to get through the walls. Although actually it does not look like any electricity brought for the Bulls. So actually giving pretty much free entry through those walls if they're not able to hold Bakery. So a potentially risky situation there for the Bulls. But here we go. A push coming from Park and Christmas Market. Two separate pushes coming in here. Van FL going in with Manimal. So they're going to have a hard breach, uh, two hard breachers onto these walls here. So two potential ways to get through. The deployable being held f through the small bake window. Or, excuse me, that's the prep window. Some shots going out through the shelves there. Nothing connecting. Sam Joko now pushing over towards the truck. Manimal is also pushed over towards Mest, uh, West Main Street and going to be trying to get into Small Bakery. That's where grenade goes out, but then also a C4 as well. Some serious damage taken by Van. Almost lost their Thatcher early on yet again. Hibana charges getting shot out from the side. As now Klex has actually pushed up into Bakery. Has full Bakery control. Going to give the defenders a call. Takes out the Jaeger gadget and then the Thorn gadget as well. The Pirates drop the Diffuser though as Autobot takes out Van FL. And then going to be Fancy Clown with the kill onto Klex. Fancy Clown takes out more of the Habana charges. And then Manimal and Autobot taking some damage. And then going to be Manimal with the kill on the Fancy Clown. Autobot gets downed as well. So now, and that was Fenix that downed him. So now Fenix. In a bit of a gunfight, what I believe that is 
Drip Andromeda. Yes, it is. And then Drizzle gets the kill on the Manimal, so that drops the Diffuser. And now going to be up to Sam Joko to get over to the Diffuser and pick it up. Not going to be able to do that and gets taken down. Going to be Fenix, the last remaining hope. He gets the kill on the Drip Andromeda, breaching open the wall. Autobot still downed on Brown Stairs. Pushes up through VIP. A long angle onto the hallway. Some shots going out on the CRA. Gets the kill onto Fenix. A 2v1 now. CRA pushes back into sight. Still no diffuser for Fenix. Gonna need to get some kills here. The Thorn Gadget goes out. Quickly peeks into the sight. Doesn't see the Jaeger holding the corner. That's Drizzle as he takes out Fenix and the Bulls go up 2-0. So now with the bulls up two to zero, gonna go for a fireplace and mining room defense. A warden Wamai, Jaeger, and Thorn brought so far. The bulls looking dominant to start it off here. So Thorn, Jaeger, Frost. Warden, and then also an alibi going to be the picks for the Bulls. Actually going to change it to train and fireplace. Not a very common defended site, mostly due to that fireplace being just such a weird rotate between them. They are also solidly far apart. While not being completely split, they do have the connection through train room. Not it, They are definitely... They would technically be considered a split site. A bit hard to rotate through, so that's why the reading hall fireplace is typically the go-to pick, but electing to go for this site instead. You have a frost moving upstairs, as that is the captain of the Bulls, Drip Andromeda. We're going to be putting down some frost masks on those windows upstairs. Could we potentially be seeing a spawn peak? Not looking like, oh, it is actually looking like Fancy Clown. Going to be attempting a spawn peak. Some shots go in from the side on the pre-fire, and he actually takes a little bit of damage there. Those are some shots from Van FL. And now all of the pirates aware of the spawn peaks as they try to prevent them while the rest of their teammates do some droning out, Sam Joko going to be pushing up towards the wall. And then Klex made it onto the roof now. Hatches being shotgunned out. And actually quite the large upstairs presence from the Bulls. Drone going out from Klex going to try to get... Some intel on where they are holding. Going to be three members of the Bulls holding upstairs right now. So, And they were anticipating this upstairs push. That is, in fact, what's happening. And now going to try to prevent the Pirates from being able to even successfully get into the building and execute their top-down push. Klex preparing to throw in a flash grenade. As Manimal approaches the window... And gets the fuse. The flashbang goes out. So now flashed and fused. Yet no damage goes out. Not able to destroy the deployable either. Now Fenix onto Cigar Balcony. Trying to quick peek the bar over there. And not able to get any shots on anyone. Nobody holding it. And now pushing up through into Cigar Shop. And back onto Red Stairs. Going to fire out a Nomad Charge to prevent the flying Autobot with the kill onto Klex. Manimal flipping back over now onto Terrace. And Fenix goes down to CRA. Barricade being destroyed to the left of Manimal. Sounds like that was the Blue Stairs Barricade. And then Van goes down as well. And then so does CRA. Auto, or, and so does Manimal. CRA and Autobot with the kills, excuse me. And then going to be Sam Joko, the last remaining player for the Pirates. A 5v1 going to need to ace to clutch it up here. Not making any attempts to push up yet. 
And now pushing up and dropping into red stairs. A very aggressive approach. Going to be someone holding around the red stairs. Shots being fired out from both from both sides. And it's going to be a flawless round for the Bulls as Fancy Clown finishes it off. The Bulls go up 3-0. to zero. And the Pirates are going to need quite the comeback here. The Bulls looking dominant. To begin this game. So for match point, the Pirates switching over to defense. Going to need a lot more success on those defensive rounds if they want a chance at this game. Starting off on the third floor. Bar and cocktail lounge going to be defended by a Thorn, Capcan, Mute, Valk, and Lesion. Fenix the leader with just three kills for the Pirates. It's been Autobot and CRA doing the work for the Bulls with four kills apiece. The Bulls likely with a 3 0 lead going to try to be very aggressive here. Have the Sledge, the Iona, the Ash, and the Nook along with the Lion. Likely just going to be a very aggressive push into the site. Switching up to an Ace now is Drizzle. Now Drizzle taking the Diffuser as ace for the Bulls. So now getting the destruction onto the hatches. Drip Andromeda already going in with the Ionadrone. drone. And then Fancy Clown is pushed up. Now pushing towards the freezer. Some shots going out. Takes out Sam Joko. Here's the call from the bathroom. The cap can goes down. Clex though on the refrag. But the Tigers already down men. And now Van going to attempt to flank here. Manimal, or uh, ex excuse me, Autobot goes down to Fenix's trap. As now Van pushing up the red stairs, attempting this flank. Doesn't elect to shoot on the Ayana to give away his position. Takes out the Ayana. There's one kill. The second kill goes down onto the Diffuser holding Ace. And now it's down to CRA, the last remaining member of the Bulls. A very successful flank from Van FL as he retreats back downstairs. Now Van going to be pushed up back through Red Stairs onto Cigar Balk. CRA with low health and a dream trying to close this out for the Bulls. The Pirates just need to play time as they have Diffuser Control. And the numbers game. Shots going out onto the Pixel Peak from Van FL. Not able to get the kill. Knows now that the shots are coming from the left side of that door. CRA pushing back over to the right side of the door now. And now over through into red stairs. Does it, and Van peeks off of it at the last second and takes the shots from CRA. Pushes up, gets the pre-fire on to Valk. But then Klex peeks over the counter and the Pirates get a win. So the Pirates not going down yet as they win upstairs and now need to win the rest of their defensive rounds to take this to overtime.
Ayana, Ash, Ace, and Sledge. The picks on attack. Now switch to a Capitale. We'll see how those change through the drone phase. Going to be a kitchen service and cooking defense for the Pirates. Needing to hang on here in order to stay in this game before we head to Clubhouse. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. Going to be a Mute, Capcan, Fenrir, Valk, and Jaeger. Clex now up to three kills after a successful last couple rounds. With Kaid being banned, though, this does definitely make the hatches harder to defend, especially the uh, the one in Freezer. That That is the hardest one to defend if you do not have Kaid because at that, you know, it's such a isolated room, and then they also have that wall. If they get the wall open or the hatch, it is pretty much full control of that room. There's nowhere for the defenders to take cover in there, so you're not really able to hold it, and they can drop down with pretty much 100% success. So no Kaid on this map means really no hatch defense. Didn't bring in a Rooney in order to recover for it. But now the cam identifying Fancy Clown and identifying the push from the park side. Going to be taking out the door into garage. CRA going up above. Going to be trying to play some vertical game here. Droning out the garage and now Fancy Clown going over to meet Autobot around the front. Autobot going to be droning out Bakery. The hard breach goes out, and they're able to get the freezer open. Attackers have dropped the bomb diffuser. Now diffuser dropped by Fancy Clown. And then the Jaeger going to be identified behind the bar, able to push away in j at just the last second from the shots from Drizzle. Fancy Clown getting the Fenrir... The gadget not able to see now goes back and picks the diffuser. Drip Andromeda holding the angle onto the breach. CRA has made it above but needs to push down to that second floor in order to start doing some damage with Sledge. Drizzle takes a little bit of damage as he sends out his drone. Loses contact with it very quickly. That hallway going to be held. Fancy Clown taking some damage now able to get the kill though onto Sam Joko. Drizzle with the kill on the Manimal now so it's a 5v3. C4 goes out. That's Fenix trying to throw that over the bar. Not able to get any kills with it. And now pushes up and gets killed by Fenix. That was Fancy Clown going down and with the Diffuser as well. Autobot, though, able to get the kill onto Klex as he pushes up through the bakery. And now Van with the kill onto Drizzle. Drip Andromeda goes down to Fenix as well. It's a 2v2. CRA takes some damage. He goes down. A triple kill for Fenix. And now it's just a 2v1. Autobot, the last remaining for the Bulls. A lot of destruction through the site. Going to try to peek through this and get a pick onto either of these two Pirates players and give himself at least an even numbers match. Droning out a little bit with the two drones he has pre-placed. Identifies where the mute is holding. Fenix able to push back, though, into the hallway. And go hold behind bar. No diffuser for Autobot. So the Pirates just able to play time here. And now forcing an aggressive push from Autobot. Going to push back around. Grab the diffuser. So now he does have the diffuser. And is going to be able to try to get this plant down. But it is not going to matter. Time running out. And now Fenix with the kill. And the Pirates not going down yet. As they win two straight defense rounds. So can the Pirates win here and take this map to overtime after being down 3-0? Putting up quite the fight here on defense. Going to be defending Fireplace Hall and Mining Room.
defenders protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Bomb located by attackers. So for this defense on fireplace and mining room, going to be a Mozzie, a Capcan, Wamai, Valk, and Legion for the Pirates. The attackers for the Bulls going to be an Ace, a Nomad, a Sledge, an Ayana, and a Dokabi. Going to be a solid upstairs presence for the Pirates. Several Roamers going out. Fenix over Roaming Red Stairs. Manimal going to be in Cigar Shop. Klex over on White Stairs. Van FL has pushed up to Cocktail Lounge. Sam Joko the only one in sight for the Pirates. Anticipating this top-down push that is so common with these second-floor sites. Some shots going through the hatch for Autobot, and then Drip Andromeda able to get the kill onto Fenix. The top frag for the Pirates goes down. Van FL, though, able to get the kill onto Drizzle. Manimal goes down now to Fancy Clown. So now Autobot pushing up onto Cigar Balk. There's going to be Van FL holding pillars down below. Going to peek out and maybe see if he can identify where Autobot is playing. Autobot right above him, just out of his view. The wake-up call goes out. C4 as well, and that takes some damage to Drip Andromeda, taking him down to about half health. Preparing for this push down red stairs. Nothing coming out just yet. Klex still holding this angle on blue stairs very intently. And the sledge is going out now for Drip Andromeda as well. A lot of destruction going out above the site. A fancy Club pushing up. Gets the kill onto Klex. And now just a 2v4 for the Pirates hoping to hold on here. And then Van FL goes down. Sam Joko, the last remaining player. Not a kill on the board yet. Needs four of them to keep his team in the game. Sees the peak. Not able to get the kill yet, though, and the shot's going out from Drip Andromeda, and the Bulls take map one. Autobot, the MVP of the game. Six kills with three assists in the game as we now prepare to head over to Clubhouse. So now getting on to map two, it's going to be Clubhouse. This was the map selected by the Pirates. 
They are going to be the ones defending to start off this map. They did significantly better on defense. Both of their round wins coming on defense on the last map. Going to need to win this map here if they want to have a chance at giving the Bulls their first loss. The Thermite ban goes out for the Pirates. Knock now the next ban for the Bulls. So Knock and Fenrir, the Bulls, bans there. Fenrir was definitely a factor when he was played last game. He was a significant hindrance to any entry through Bakery when he was used on Kitchen. And that helped big time in slowing down the push from the Bulls. So that likely the reason they banned him. Mira going down as well, an overall good ban of her. Mira is personally my least favorite operator to play against. I cannot stand playing against Mira because she gives the other team so much peak advantage. And while she is very counterable, I mean, you, there's several ways you could shoot her out. Twitch drones are very bulky and very easy to shoot out. And then the uh, getting destruction from above and being able to get an angle onto the window to shoot it out is very hard to do. It takes a lot of time at, at the very least. And so it just it takes a lot of your time off the clock, delays your entire push. So going to be a CCTV defense. For the Tigers, it's going to be a Smoke, a Mute, a Warden, a Kaid, and a Jaeger. Bulls bring in the Thatcher, so likely going to attempt a push onto the balcony. Also a Twitch as well in case the Thatchers aren't able to take out the Kaid Claws. Although they likely will be able to with their very wide radius. So going to be CRA carrying in the Diffuser as Thatcher. Now Jaeger or is going to be a Jackal of Drip Andromeda pushing up into Garage already. And then also going to be Fancy Clown who's pushed up on to who's pushed up onto the gambling already. Now in the CCTV, full control of CCTV for the Bulls already. A very aggressive push here. Kaid goes down. A double kill for Fancy Clown. He gets taken down by Fenix. Autobot though with a kill. CRA as well. Collects the last remaining player for the tie for the Pirates already. And now the Bulls putting the diffuser down with four men alive and complete control of this round. Attackers activating diffuser. The plant goes down. And now the kill on and now, now the kill on the CRA but it, still three people left to kill. Having to push back into his own sight and Autobot with the kill. So a very quick and aggressive push from the Bulls there as they take round one on attack. Your bombs from being defused by attackers. 
So going to be another CCTV defense for the Pirates, hoping for a better outcome than the last game. Going to need to delay them a lot. The Malusi, the immediate pick there, going to try to slow down that push. It was such an incredibly quick push by the Bulls. Got full garage control and then immediately got control of CCTV with the breach right after that. And after the Pirates lost the B site, they were not able to cover the A site very well at all. It was left entirely up to their warden to push back up from, the, from across the map over in gym. And he basically had to attack his own site, and it did not go very well. So now the Pirates with a Kaid, Malusi, Mozzie, Lesion, and Mute hoping to try and stop how aggressive of a push that was. We'll see if the Bulls do decide to go with anything different. That last one worked so well. You'll, I mean, you'll have to expect it again, but you'll also want to see if the Bulls are going to just decide to go with it again if, until it stops working. Fancy Clown already getting the drones into Garage, and then Drip Andromeda going to be following his drone into the Garage. The Mozzie holding downstairs. Fancy Clown goes down to Sam Joko. Mozzie, uh, that was Klex downstairs with the distraction, and then the ability from Sam Joko to capitalize on it and take out half of the garage push. CRA now going over to meet Drizzle at the wall as they try to get CC wall open. Autobot takes some damage, but takes down Manimal in the process. Putting up the next Kaid Claw, but it does get taken down. And then really aggressively holding this wall. As they do get it open. And now he's going to drop off the side there. Drip Andromeda now pushed up into Garage. As he approaches, as he approaches the Breach into sight. Autobot pushing from Lodge. Drip Andromeda taking some damage now as he fires downstairs onto the Kaid. Mozzie holding down there as well. CRA has made it into stock room, potentially looking to make his way up to red stairs. Drip Andromeda going to be taking out oh, trying to take out the bulletproof cam. Doesn't quite have the angle to take it out though. Autobot now pushed up into construction, taking a bit of a gunfight here. And then Klex goes down to CRA. CRA takes some damage in the process, but then Sam Joko goes down to Autobot. Autobot pushed up. The kill from the Legion, though, that is Van FL. Van FL and Fenix, the only two remaining. As Van FL takes out Drip Andromeda, the push into sight, that's going to be taken out. And now it's going to be CRA, the last remaining hope for the Bulls. A much more concise defense of this site from the Pirates in this game. The Legion Mine goes out into the garage. CRA already pushed up past it, though. 38 seconds remaining. And now some shots going out. Alert of his location now are the Pirates. The Kaid holding red stairs. Not going to peek this angle. And that's going to be Van FL with the kill as the Pirates even it out at one apiece. So now going to be a basement defense for the Pirates as they hope to take the lead going into the attack, attack rounds. Attacking significantly harder to do on this map. It's a very defender heavy map. Kaid, Malusi, Maestro, Capcan, and Aruni, the picks for the Pirates on defense. Attackers need to locate and defuse. So not only bringing the Kaid, but the Aruni as well, going to have some very well-defended hatches. Losing control of Kitchen Hatch is a lot of teams' downfall. So hoping to keep full control of it with both the Kaid and the Aruni. Getting those Aruni footholds into the hallway. Seconds to go. 
So the attackers for the Bulls going to be a Thatcher, an Ayana, a Habana, a, an, an Ash, and a Ying. Going to be the Ying and Ace push, or, or the Ying and uh, Thatcher push from construction site as they attempt to get into bunker. Drizzle still on his cam as he watches the downstairs area. Drip Andromeda now pushing up into the garage. CRA going to be pushing in from parking. And now Autobot already getting the hatch open. Not They did not get the Kaid Claws onto the hatch. And so they were able to get the hatch open immediately. This could potentially be the downfall of the Pirates here as they lose control of Kitchen Hatch in very quick fashion. Fancy Clown already pushing down Central Stairs. And CRA gets taken down by Van FL. Some, a little bit of damage on the Van FL. He goes down. Autobot with the kill on the Sam Joko as well. They now push into Bunker. Drip Andromeda over on Blue Stairs. Some shots going on to Manimal now. And he backs up into the line of fire of Fancy Clown. So now Klex and Fenix, the only two remaining. Drip Andromeda takes down Fennec, so now just going to be down to Klex to clutch this up for the Pirates. Shots going on to Fancy Clown as he goes down. Some more shots go through the rotate there. And the Diffuser goes down for Drizzle. Autobot takes some damage, and now a double kill for Klex. Diffuser is down. Impact goes out, trying to get a bit of a better line of sight. On to Drip Andromeda holding over in Blue Stairs. The one thing really preventing him from getting over to the B site. And getting the Diffuser. He gets the triple kill. Now just needs to take down Drip Andromeda. Tries to check for the cam. Not able to get any eyes on it as it has been Thatchered. Is going to be holding Bunker. Going to need to make a play on the Diffuser soon. Pushes up now. And now going to try to get the kill on the Drizzle, but he holds Bunker successfully in the Bulls. Go up 2-1. to one. So the Bulls switch over to defense with a 2-1 to one lead. I'm going to start off with Jim in Bedroom. It's like an Aruni, Azami, Warden, Thorn Castle, and now a Frost switch at the last second. Going to be up to the Pirates to make something happen on attack. A Dock switch coming in for the Bulls. And now up to them to close this out on defense. Got to be feeling a lot better about themselves that they are able to play their last few rounds out on defense rather than having to attack. Getting a good bit of destruction in through the lodge and then also setting up a good bit on construction. Potentially going to be holding a wide array of rooms here, expanding sight out a little bit. Have the Azami barriers as well, so able to able to make some angles of their own if needed. Van FL going to be carrying in the diffuser as Ace. All alone in warehouse. Plex and Manimal spawning on the other side in Recreation. And now Van takes a lot of damage early. Some shots go out onto Autobot as well, but he's able to stim back up. Van is going to have to remain at that health, though. Identifying the castle as they now push up onto West Roof. 
trying to get onto the balcony and get the wall open if they can. All the castles placed on those windows, so not going to be any super easy entrance through the front. Shotguns out. The entrance into Lodge. Identifying there is some destruction into Lodge from construction to jump rotate through there. Sam Joko droning out Lodge right now, and they do identify that there is someone holding outside the castle barricade. Manimal now firing in some shots through the main window. The zombie holding that castle barricade is going to give a very loud... Is going to give a very loud sound call if she decides to break it and try to get the peak. Manimal sends out a drone. Not going to go on it just yet. And Klex goes down to Autobot now. They're going to be droning out the breach. Drizzle takes a good bit of damage off of Sam Joko's shots onto his feet. And Manimal gets the kill on to Drizzle. Fancy Clown now takes down Sam Joko. It is a 4v3 in favor of the Bulls. Manimal still trying to get some kills from the central uh, roof balcony. And then Van going to be trying to go up onto the side of the building. Manimal and Fenix though going down. So now just going to be down to Van FL. A triple kill there for Fancy Clown as he sits at 6 on the game so far. Tied with Autobot for the top frag. Now Van going to try to push his way up main stairs. Does identify that there is a prox alarm. Shoots it out and then that is going to give away the sound cue. So now trying from a different approach. Doesn't have a lot of time here though. 30 seconds remaining in the game. Going to need to try something soon. Throws out a drone to watch his back. And now pushes up towards main stairs. Is going to be someone holding it now. Clex though with the post-mortem kill off the claymore. But then going to be fancy clown with his fourth kill of the game as he takes down van fl the bulls one win away from securing their win today a church and arsenal room defense azami frost thorn jaeger and then one more pick going to be coming out for the Bulls as well as they try to close this one off. Going to be a Warden as their final pick. And we will see what the Pirates decide to go with after the drone phase. A Blitz pick so far. A very uncommon... A Blitz and Cali. So a very some very uncommon picks here on attack for the Pirates. Going to try to switch their strategy up to do whatever they can. So here we go. Can the Bulls close it off and remain undefeated on the season with this defense right here? Or will the Pirates battle back and try to take this to overtime? So here we go, the deciding matchup here. If the Bulls can take the win. Going to be someone holding in Garage. They do know about that now. It's also going to be a spawn peak from Secret Stairs. The Blitz attempting to get some shots there with the pistol. A very dangerous peak there for him. Going to be a big time push from the kennels area as they now make their way into secret maybe nope not going to elect to push in are going to identify that there's someone holding the oh and now some shots go out onto klex it is the azami fancy clown holding garage and now their blitz very very low it's gonna be a challenging push for him shots going in onto the wall from van fl
There's going to be someone holding red stairs. Fancy Clown takes a little bit of damage now, though. <clears throat> CRA going to be holding top of red stairs, preparing for them to come up that way. Autobot also holding red stairs. A minute 44 remaining and not able to get into the building yet are the Pirates. Klex, though, able to change that as he pushes up into stock room. The kill from Autobot, but the triple kill! As he now, as he uses the Warden, the knife play would have been a much better play for Klex, and now down to just Fenix. A triple kill there from Autobot. Super clutch in a big moment.